A newer COVID-19 variant is sweeping across the U.S. and medical experts believe it could cause a summer surge in COVID cases. It's called the FLIRT variant. Yeah, FLIRT is a subvariant of the Omicron version of COVID. This newer variant comes as researchers at the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research are recruiting people to take part in an upcoming trial for a new COVID-19 vaccine, a vaccine that does not require a shot. News for Jackson reporter Eric Avenese here live in the studio to explain what's going on here. Well, you know, not everyone likes those needle shots in the arm. What? You know, a lot of us do, don't. Do some people like those? <laughs> well, just imagine what it would be like to do away with a painful uh, needle strike to the arm from a needle just like this, a really long needle just like this, uh, just to avoid that uh, adverse reactions uh, of a COVID-19. Well, imagine no more because there is a new COVID-19 vaccine. It's a small tablet that dissolves in your mouth. Here at the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research, director and doctor Michael Corrin and his team will start conducting trials on a new COVID-19 oral vaccine. The vaccine doesn't have a name yet, but it's made by the Vaxart Pharmaceutical Company headquartered in San Francisco. Vaxart began developing the oral vaccine back in 2020. The Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research is one of only a handful of research centers across the U.S. chosen by Vaxart to conduct phase two trials of the oral vaccine. We have a number of people who have expressed interest in it. It's really exciting for people. They want to be part of the history of developing the new COVID vaccine. Uh, they want to protect themselves and their family. So of course, as part of this, everybody will be getting updates to their vac vaccine profile. If you've been reluctant to get involved before or you had concerns about the vaccine, this may be a comfortable way for you to do it. Unlike the current COVID-19 messenger RNA vaccines that are required to be stored in special freezers to maintain their effectiveness before being injected, the new oral vaccine is room temperature stable. According to researchers, the new oral vaccine inhibits airborne transmissions of COVID by reducing shedding. Viral shedding is when an infected person releases virus particles from their body by sneezing or coughing. People with COVID-19 shed the virus for about 10 days. Ultimately, the amount of viral shedding is one of the parameters that we're looking at when we actually study whether or not these things are effective. So hopefully, um, in the first level, people don't get sick. If they do get sick, the amount of virus that they produce is less than they would otherwise. Researchers say the new oral vaccine has been shown to be effective against the earlier version of COVID-19 as well as the earlier variants of the COVID virus. However, they say there's not enough data to determine its effectiveness against the new flirt version of COVID, which is now sweeping its way across the U.S. Dr. Corrin says part of the problem is how fast the virus keeps changing. As we look at this in the future, we'll be looking at it in the same way that we look at influenza. So each year there may be a different strain of influenza. Sometimes the vaccines are more or less effective. But as we get more into the learning of it, we're able to get the key point in the virus to, pr to create an antibody response. Phase two trials of the new oral vaccine start in two weeks. The trial will last for one year. During that time, participants will only need to visit the research center six times. Anyone interested in taking part in the trial can call the number on your screen. We have also posted that number on our website, newsforjacks.com. So again, you know, not everybody likes those shots. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric, you mentioned uh, the upcoming trial is going to be phase two. So what happened during phase one? So phase one was all about the safety, you know, making sure that this was safe to, to use uh, without any adverse reactions. But uh, phase two is going to be all about the effectiveness of this vaccine. Eric Avenue, thank you so much.